Association has swiftly and boldly moved in this space to grow their outreach efforts to the Spanish language population. Nelson Mandela said it best, when you speak to me in your language, you capture my head. But when you speak to me in my language, you capture my heart. And that is the work of the American Heart Association, building trust with our communities in language in culturally sensitive and relevant ways in order to bridge a relationship that really works toward improving health equity for all.
Well, good afternoon. Happy Thursday. Welcome, everyone. It's so great to see you here today, kicking off the Hearts Across Houston campaign. Now, you all might be wondering, what exactly is the Hearts Across Houston campaign? Well, that's a great question. By way of background, last year, Lisa and I agreed to chair the fabulous upcoming Heart Ball in 2000 or 2021. However, because of the COVID pandemic, we decided to pivot from serving as a traditional Heart Ball chair to leading a multi-event campaign focused on helping our Houston community. We are truly complimented and honored to serve the Heart Association in this capacity as we seek to expand the mission of the traditional Heart Ball. Our goal is to bring the incredible work and resources of the Heart Association to life in a tangible and meaningful way. You know, so many of our underserved population have been negatively affected by the ripple effects of COVID, not the least of which are increased health issues, isolation, loss of income, mental health, and you name it. This is the perfect storm for these families that quite frankly are in peril and desperately in need of help. Throughout the Hearts Across Houston campaign, you will learn more about the impact of the Heart Association has on our everyday lives and the impact they are making in Greater Houston. The work of this boots on the ground organization is now more important than ever. You know, at last year's Heart Ball, we learned that the life expectancy in Houston can vary up to 24 years based upon your zip code. Mm -hmm. Think about that. Families living five miles apart, one family can live 24 years longer. I still have a hard time getting my arms around that. Um, we also learned that 40% of the patients who are hospitalized with COVID had some sort of heart disease or stroke, meaning that our most susceptible neighbors are disproportionately impacted by heart disease, diabetes, chronic illness, and more, you name it. Equally important, those who survive COVID complications are now at greater risk of developing heart disease than they ever were previously. So what is this all about? Our number one mission and objective for the Hearts Across Houston effort is to specifically improve the health and lives of these individuals that are most at risk. By uniting our hearts, we can be a relentless force for a world of longer, healthier lives. This year, the Hearts Across Houston campaign is focused on the struggles of our neighbors, the impact of our partners, and all of the hearts we can improve by supporting the American Heart Association, by addressing social inequities, funding life-saving research, providing critical hypertension and CPR education. We are assisting and supporting our neighbors with critical needs that have been made worse by the pandemic. You know, throughout the campaign, you will see the Heart Association's mission in action as we work aggressively to save lives. We hope you will enjoy this short video highlighting some of the work that has happened since we were together at the Heart Ball last February. The work of the American Heart Association in the community is critical. You're about to hear from volunteers and leaders of organizations who have partnered with the Greater Houston AHA and Mayor Sylvester Turner's Complete Communities. Together, we are working to implement long-term, sustainable, systems-level change to improve the overall health of all Houstonians. If we are to change the life expectancy variance of 24 years in Houston, that is, those with the longest life expectancy are living 24 years longer than those with the shortest life expectancy, we need to be the health expert in the community working side by side with organizations dedicated to Houston's health. We can't do it without your help. Hello, I'm Mayor Sylvester Turner. We all know the importance of heart health and during the COVID-19 pandemic, we know there's a strain on people's heart health. That is why the American Heart Association's work with the Complete Communities Initiative is vital. 
They are fully integrated and working alongside the community partners to bring their science-based accredited work to our neighbors. The American Heart Association aims to be part of the solution by connecting food insecure families with quality, nutrient, dense produce through a partnership with the common market. The common market sources the produce for Texas Farm Fresh boxes, boxes with five to seven different varieties of fruits and vegetables from small local family farms. Collaborating with various community clinical and faith-based partners like Baker Ripley and Legacy Community Health, the American Heart Association has coordinated the distribution of hundreds of Texas Farm Fresh boxes since May. This initiative leverages the power of our local food system to transform communities by improving food access, farm viability, and ecological health. Our city is hurting and our neighbors need us more than ever. I am thankful to the American Heart Association for stepping up during this critical time to help improve the overall health of our city. Association has stepped in to fill critical gaps in our community. These critical gaps align with the core pillars to continue our work towards long-term sustainable solutions towards healthy hearts. One example is the timely and relevant need to address nutrition security, key factor in optimal heart health. <music> everyone who works alongside the American Heart Association to make Houston a healthier community. We still have so much work to do and we can't do it without you. All of you who are watching today, you are the partners we need. You can help us to make an impact together. You can help us to give people more of life's precious moments. Thank you. Wow, I hope you all were as inspired by those incredible leaders in Houston as Lisa and I are. You know, we just continue to be amazed by each of them and the awesome work that the Heart Association collectively is doing in our city. We have been blessed to be able to go behind the scenes and see the true work and impact the Heart Association is making in Houston. Our vision and what we are really speaking about is so much more than a gala. Quite frankly, this effort is simply about changing lives and saving lives. With that as a backdrop, we have set an ambitious goal to raise $3 million to help our fellow Houstonians get beyond this crisis. Think of all the hearts and lives we can help with these life-saving funds for such a time as this. We are so grateful for everyone who has supported the mission of the Heart Association already this year. We could not do this without our amazing leadership team, donors, and sponsors. We're so excited to announce, drum roll please, <laughs> that we have already raised one million dollars <laughs> towards our three million dollar goal. Jerry and I thank you for your help and for all you're doing now let's hear from some of those who have already shown their support. BP is committed to Hearts Across Houston. We're committed to Hearts Across Houston. We're committed to Hearts Across Houston. The Northern Trust Company is committed to Hearts Across Houston. City Private Bank is committed to Hearts Across Houston. 
We are committed to hearts across Houston. Marathon Owl is committed to hearts across Houston. Merrick is committed to hearts across Houston. Beverly and I are committed to hearts across Houston. We're committed to hearts across Houston. We're committed to hearts across Houston. McGovern Medical School at UT Health is committed to hearts across Houston. We are committed to hearts across Houston. Bank of Texas is committed to hearts across Houston. I hope that you're really a part of Are you? What an awesome, awesome and generous group you are. Thank each and every one of you so much. I'd like to take a special shout out to Memorial Herman for their support as well. In case you missed it during the video, here is a list of all the supporters who have made commitments to help parts across Houston already reach our first million dollars. Thank you so much. You know, now we have a great opportunity to introduce a very special family. This family is outstanding in every respect. They are active and longtime supporters of the Heart Association. Let me introduce Shirley, Skip, and Kathleen Allen. I think we've got a picture of them coming up. There we go. Hi guys. <laughs> Skip currently serves as our regional board president for the Southwest Heart Association and their entire family is involved to support our mission. And Lisa and I are thrilled to announce that this year's Hearts Across Houston honorees are the Allen family. Shirley, Skip, Kathleen, congratulations yes. and thank you from the bottom of our hearts <laughs> and for all you do and your commitment to make a difference in the lives of so many in our city. Throughout this campaign, you'll learn more about the lives and families the Allens have been able to impact through their partnership with a Heart Association. Guys, thank you again. We really appreciate everything you've done. Uh, now, I know you all will be excited to see our surprise entertainment. So please turn up the volume and get ready for an extraordinary performance by a contemporary jazz violinist who is a young man that I know you will be hearing more about. He's a native Houstonian and his name is Dominique Hammonds. So crank it up, Buttercup. We're looking for you, Dominique. <laughs> Lisa, Jerry, thank you so much for having me today. And wow, I had no idea the AHA was involved in all of this. As a native Houstonian, I am so excited to see the difference AHA is making. Now, I heard this song is a heartball favorite, and y'all were tearing up the dance floor. <laughs> I hope you enjoy this version of Earth, Wind, and Fires, September. Here we go. Thank you so much, Dominique, and thank you to everyone who joined us here today. We hope you were inspired and will team up with us to help hearts across Houston. Hey, thank you, Dominique. That was just awesome. We, hey, for everybody that's on, we appreciate your attendance. 
We hope that you will consider supporting the Hearts Across Houston campaign. Uh, please see the program book, which was emailed to you on the many ways you can personally help heal hearts across Houston. We have so many touch points planned throughout the year that we know you'll not want to miss, especially our luxury auction that has 100 point wines. I don't drink, but that sounds pretty darn good. Yeah. Private jets, unbelievable jewelry, Lisa. Don't forget. Oh, uh, exclusive vacation homes and more. So end of the day, thank you so much for joining us. We wish you all continued blessings and we look forward to seeing you soon on this journey. We thank you. Thank you. Thank you.